As you might know, I made quite a few free patch up presets in the past, and today I want to show you how to basically turn those patch up presets into plugins so you can use them inside FL Studio like all your other plugins. To be clear, this doesn't mean that we actually turn the patch up presets into VSTs, but we basically make it so we can use them inside FL Studio like other plugins and we don't have to load patch and go through the presets all the time. So if you downloaded a patch preset from anywhere, you usually get a file like this, an FST file. What you can do is either you can just take this file and drag it into your effect slot and then it will just load normally. Or you can also load patcher and then go, if it's in the right directory of course, go through the presets and load it from there. But what we want is that the patcher preset is basically right here if we open our plugin database. Or you can also press F8 or go into the plugin picker and get it from there. So how do we do that? Basically first of all load the patcher preset of course. And then in your FL Studio file browser, go to plugins. As you can see, there are some different categories. This is an effects plugin because it's in the mixer. So we go in effects. And I think we should make a new folder for this. So let's right click and open. And I'm just gonna make a new folder, new folder. And I'm gonna call it Petra Presets. And as you can see, it immediately appears here. If it doesn't, just click Control R to reload and then it will be there. Of course, it's empty right now, but the important thing is just that you click on it to basically select it. Once it's selected, go in your Petra preset here in the menu and click on Add to Plugin Database in Klammern. Oops, that's <laughs> for Deutsch. Add to Plugin Database in brackets, flag as favorite. Uh, then you can see Petra will be added to this subcategory, Petra Presets, because Petra Presets was selected. Click OK. And it's in there. But <laughs> that's not the whole story because right now we have a problem. The problem is that this is now basically the default preset for Petra. But we don't want that. We want Petra to be one plugin and this basically to be a completely separate plugin. So what we're going to do is basically right click open. And as we can see, we have these three files here. Very important, by the way. By default, you only see this file. You have to go to view, I think it's in English, and enable hidden files, uh, hidden elements, whatever. And only then you'll be able to see them because they are hidden for some reason. I found it very confusing, but okay, they're hidden. So we're just going to rename this, okay? This preset is called Big Alterman 2. So let's rename it to Big Alterman 2. And this is great and you can stop right here if you want to because now, as you can see, we can go here and there's a category, Petra Presets Big Alterman 2 and we can just load it and it will load the plugin. Perfect. But there's one problem because, as you can see, there's no editor thumbnail. Before there was an editor thumbnail, now there isn't. What that means is if we go to our plugin database, Big Alterman, oops, Allah, Big Alterman 2, it's just text. It's not an image and I like to have an image personally. Maybe some people don't use this uh, site, uh, this plugin picker, but I like to have an image. So how are we going to do that? Let's <coughs> go back here. The image is this PNG file, okay? This is the PNG file, it's in here. Um, the problem is we renamed it to Big Alterman. So this PNG file is not linked to this one anymore. So how are we going to achieve that? What we can do is this patcher.nfo file basically links the preset file to the image. So we're just going to rename the two to also Big Alterman 2. And as you can see, the image appears again. And <laughs> unfortunately, that's not the whole solution because we have another problem now. The image the name of the image is still patcher.png. That means as soon as we add another patcher preset to our, to our database, the image will be overwritten because the new uh, patcher preset will have an image with exactly the same name, also patcher.png. So what we're gonna do is just rename patcher.png also to big alterman2. And the image disappeared again. Why is that? Because this NFO file links Big Alterman to an image called patcher.png. But the patcher.png image doesn't exist anymore. So we have to open this, um, just open it with text editor, and rename this to Big 
Alter Man 2. Oops, I'm not Enter, sondern Control S. And now it works. I don't know why the image doesn't appear in the file explorer anymore, but if we go to our plugin database, you can see we have an amazing editor thumbnail and we can just drag it into our mixer. Or if it's an instrument, we can also just drag it into the channel, whatever. That's everything for today. I hope you learned something. Until next time.